I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Examen Mining has completed its initial review of the VTEM Geophysical Survey conducted in 2021 at its Providence and Bud Elk properties in southeastern British Columbia. The company has an exploration permit in place at the Providence and Bud Oak properties for drilling from a total of 24 drill sites with multiple holes permitted from each site, allowing for up to approximately 14,000 meters of drilling. The purpose of the survey was to identify magnetic and conductive features as targets for gold copper mineralization. Known mineralization in and around Examen's Greenwood properties includes 24 mineral BC minfile database occurrences, of which 15 are historic mines. Mineralization can be grouped into two styles, copper gold porphyry and related scarn deposits, and silver deposits in polymetallic quartz veins. Copper gold deposits occur in the west and are covered by the Bud Elk property, with silver deposits occurring in the east covered by the Providence group of claims. The total magnetic intensity results show areas of very high magnetic response in the northwest, northeast, and southeast. The motherlode copper gold scarn deposit is located on the edge of a magnetic high and is associated with a narrow linear conductive zone about 200 meters long. This area is a target for follow-up for extension of the motherlode deposit. No results are available for the eastern part of the survey area around the Providence and Barbara occurrences due to interference from power lines. The Morrison, Buckhorn and Maureen copper gold occurrences occur on the edges of areas of moderate magnetic intensity within the Knob Hill chert and Jurassic intrusions. These areas may reflect more magnetic intrusive bodies at depth. The Providence, Elkhorn, Elkhorn FR, Fremont, Don Pedro, Spotted Horse and Argos Silver bearing polymetallic vein occurrences are in areas of magnetic low response. Management believes that possibly these areas were relatively distal and cooler with respect to nearby intrusions at the time of mineralization. The calculated vertical gradient magnetic map shows variable patterns with many of the mineral occurrences located on the margins of areas of high gradient. These areas may reflect the contact zones of relatively magnetic bodies. The conductivity map shows a large high anomaly in the northwest that correlates with the Eocene Marin volcanic rocks. Another large high anomaly extends northwest from the Pluto and southeast to the Are Copper Gold Scarn occurrences. This anomaly coincides with mapped quaternary sedimentary cover, but beneath this is likely the margin of a Jurassic intrusion. The southeast margin of this intrusion is in contact with Brooklyn limestone at the Are There Scarn occurrence. As such, this anomaly is an excellent target for additional scarn mineralization. Examen owns 100% of three of its precious metal projects located in southern BC. The Amelia Gold Mine, the Brett Epithermal Gold Project and the Treasure Mountain Silver Project adjacent to the past producing Holder Silver Mine. Currently, the Treasure Mountain Silver Project is under an option, with the option partner making annual stage cash and stocks payments as well as funding the project. The company has also acquired control of the Kenville Gold Mine near Nelson, British Columbia, which comes with surface and underground rights, buildings and equipment. Examen shares are trading at 22 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, examenminingcorp.com. Contact Christopher R. Anderson, President and CEO, at 604-488-3900. For investor relations, contact Sophie Cesar at 604-488-3900 or by email at ir at I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media.